When Fine Fettle in Manchester opens its doors on Friday, it will mark a very special first in Connecticut. It's Connecticut's first equity joint venture, which is a partnership 50-50 between an existing medical operator, us Fine Fettle, as well as our social equity partners. People from communities that were most impacted by the war on drugs. This is a very, 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 very small step um, in making right on the war on drugs. Kennard Ray is the CEO of the Manchester location. He grew up not far from there in Hartford, in one of the state's poorest zip codes, and spent time in prison for drug and gun related charges when he was younger. And he spent years fighting for others like him to get second chances. The path to even get to a place like this has been very, very long. Um, and for me, you know, that story includes a fight to make sure that, you know, Everyone has this opportunity. When Connecticut legalized recreational marijuana, it made it a point to give people from those disproportionately impacted areas the opportunity to take part in the industry. Having those folks disproportionately impacted, you know, be kind of, you know, get that leg up, have a seat at the table, have all the resources behind them. It really is the only the only fair and equitable thing to do. But it also cleared thousands of low-level cannabis possession convictions and ensured that the money made from adult use cannabis sales goes back into those communities as well. As part of this legislation um, says that we will reinvest in the communities, not just in the people. The state's Social Equity Council is offering loans and education to help get business owners started. And Friday's grand opening is the first of many more like it to come this year. This is a, a actual living, proven example change could happen, right? And I want this location to do numbers, like break records and break barriers. Reporting in Manchester, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.